intense. Wow, yeah. Uh, hard to believe. All right. Well, together they stand as a symbol of Old West justice, the sheriff's posse. Now, in the 1800s, they might have rounded up robbers, right? Uh, yeah, in the 1900s, they might have helped people in distress. But in 2016, a mounted posse plays a far different role. And as new specialist Andrew Adams found out, one posse in Weaver County might be riding off toward the sunset. Not exactly high noon. Not quite the open range. Good looking Jeep. Good looking horse. <laughs> it's six o'clock in a dusky parking lot. And these cowboys <laughs> are herding cars arriving for the county fair. That side's pretty full. It's the humble duty of the all volunteer Weber County Sheriff's Mounted Posse. You come into the fair and you see a guy, a cowboy on a horse and all the kids got big smiles on their faces and starts out their fair right. This posse boasts a proud history. You know, it's been around since 1942. At the time, playing a vital role in the county's search and rescue efforts. Over the decades, the legend of these lawmen grew. We've done presidential escorts with Ronald Reagan. But times changed. Rescues were replaced with outreach. Our interactions with the public is almost always a positive one. She likes kids. And now, the horse and spur are overshadowed by horsepower and high-tech jobs. With uh, land development and the price of uh, you know, everything going up, uh, having a horse is becoming more and more of an expensive hobby. The posse's numbers are shrinking, and its days may be numbered. 10 years, five years, the 75-year anniversary next year. I wish I had a crystal ball. <laughs> what is certain? Yeah, we need to get more folks involved with the posse. To carry on a legacy that spans eras, a legacy these cowboys love. Just the involvement with the community, helping out, volunteering our time. Andrew Adams, KSL 5 News. <laughs> All right, Andrew, thank you.